Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the equation of evolute as the envelope of normal to the given ellipse. The parametric form for this x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 is x equal to a cos theta and y equal to b sin theta. We have to find dy by dx. We can use either this or the parametric form. Using the parametric form is easier. So let's find dx by d theta which is a into minus sin theta and dy by d theta will be b into cos theta. Now by dividing this we get dy by dx that is nothing but b cos theta by minus a sin theta. So this is our m that is minus b by a into cos theta by sin theta. After this, we have to write equation of normal and equation of normal by formula y minus y1 equal to minus 1 by m into x minus x1. And here, this is our x1 and y1. So, we take y minus y1 is b sin theta equal to minus 1 by m. Negative reciprocal of this will become a sin theta by b cos theta. I have directly substituted minus 1 by m here. This is our m. Here it is minus 1 by m. So, we have to take reciprocal and a minus sign. Already there is a minus. Then become plus and it become a reciprocal into x minus x1 is a cos theta. Now, by cross multiplication, we get b cos theta y minus b square sin theta cos theta. If we multiply this inside, a sin theta x minus a square sin theta cos theta. Now let's take this term to the other side. Already we have a sin theta x minus b cos theta y and this term will be taken to the other side. So here it is a square sin theta cos theta and already we have minus b square sin theta cos theta. Now rewriting this, let's write the LHS side on the other side. So it is a sin theta x minus b cos theta y equal to, we can take a square minus b square separately because we are going to take sin theta minus cos theta common. After taking sin theta, sorry sin theta into cos theta common. By taking sin theta into cos theta common, we get sin theta into cos theta into a square minus b square. Now, we are going to divide every term by sin theta cos theta. So, a sin theta x by sin theta cos theta minus b cos theta y by sin theta cos theta equal to a square minus b square. We can cancel this and we can cancel this. This is a cos theta goes up to become secant theta a secant theta x minus b cosecant theta y equal to a square minus b square. This is the equation of normal and we have to differentiate this with respect to theta and eliminate the theta to get the evolute as the envelope of normal. So differentiating, let's take this as the first equation, differentiating 1 with respect to theta. So other than theta are constant, so ax is a constant, secant theta differentiation is secant theta tan theta minus by is a constant, cosecant theta differentiation is minus cosecant theta cot theta and on the other side everything is a constant so it is 0 and this we can cancel and make it as plus and we shall take this to the other side. So ax secant theta tan theta equal to minus by cosecant theta cot theta. Now changing everything into sin and cos form, 
this is 1 by cos theta and this is sin theta by cos theta minus by into 1 by sin theta cosecant theta is 1 by sin theta cot theta is cos theta by sin theta by cross multiplication we multiply ax into sin theta into sin theta into sin theta so totally we get ax into sin cube theta and here minus by into cos cube theta so sin cube theta by cos cube theta equal to minus by by ax this is basically tan cube theta equal to minus by by ax and from this tan theta is minus by whole power 1 by 3 by ax whole power 1 by 3. So from this we are going to get what is secant theta and cosecant theta and when we substitute that in the equation of normal the equation 1 we get the evaluate as the envelope of the normal. For that we have to consider a small triangle in that this is our theta and tan is opposite so minus by whole power 1 by 3 and this is ax whole power 1 by 3 by Pythagoras relation this is root of ax whole power when we square it become 2 by 3 and when we square the negative becomes positive so by whole power 2 by 3 from this we get secant theta which is hypotenuse so ax whole power 1 by sorry 2 by 3 plus by whole power 2 by 3 whole division hypotenuse by adjacent which is ax whole power 1 by 3 in the same way cosecant theta is hypotenuse by opposite so root of ax whole power 2 by 3 plus by whole power 2 by 3 whole division minus by whole power 1 by 3. Now substituting in the equation 1. The equation 1 what we have is let us copy it again a secant theta x that can be written as a x secant theta then minus b cosecant theta y so minus b y cosecant theta equal to a square minus b square so a square minus b square we are going to substitute here so a x into secant theta is root of a x whole power 2 by 3 plus b y whole power 2 by 3 whole divided by a x whole power 1 by 3 minus b y again root of a x whole power 2 by 3 plus b y whole power 2 by 3 whole division minus b y whole power 1 by 3 that is equal to a square minus b square. Now here we can take the common term root of ax power 2 by 3 plus by power 2 by 3. After that this is ax and this is ax power 1 by 3. So when I take this 1 by 3 to the numerator it will become ax power 1 minus 1 by 3 because this is power 1 this is 1 by 3 1 minus 1 by 3 is 2 by 3. So ax whole power 2 by 3 and here we can make it as plus because minus 1 
pole power 1 by 3, one of the real values is minus 1 and we have other two imaginary values. So, this is minus 1. So, by combining with this minus, we can make it as plus and the remaining, once again we have by and without minus by. So, this is power 1 and this is power 1 by 3. So, how we simplified this in the same way, if I simplify, we get by whole power 1 minus 1 by 3 which is 2 by 3 and equal to and this is equal to a square minus b square. Now these two terms are same ax power 2 by 3 plus by power 2 by 3 but this is having a power half and this is having a power 1. So we add the power we keep the common base ax power 2 by 3 plus by power 2 by 3 whole power half plus 1 so half plus 1 so power will become 2 by 3 sorry 3 by 2 so ax power 2 by 3 plus by power 2 by 3 whole power 3 by 2 equal to a square minus b square and this power 3 by 2 when I take to the other side power it will become reciprocal. So finally we get ax whole power 2 by 3 plus by whole power 2 by 3 equal to a square minus b square whole power 2 by 3. This is our required equation of evolute as the envelope of normal to the given ellipse.